All right, this is it guys, today's the day. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Jumper T16 out with my drones and really put to test this Yapu script. I've got everything packed up. Gotta put a few more things together, waiting on my batteries to charge over here in my battery bunker. Um, just a couple cinder blocks with some play sand on top in case they catch fire. I have a, I need to do a test on if this is actually useful or helpful. I've seen people do something similar, so if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll actually go and catch a lipo on fire and see if that contains it. Um, but besides that, got some software, got all my maps going, getting my, this is the uh, Storm32 gimbal software, trying to make sure my gimbal's all set up, ready to go. All right, before I get out to the field, I wanna show you this crazy contraption I got going on here to show you guys how the Yapu script is going to work. So I've tried filming my radio um, while flying, it's very difficult. So now I've hooked up this crazy contraption um, that will hold my camera, which I'm gonna be using my phone, onto here, but the reflections always like show up my f make my face show up inside the screen because the reflection is so bad so I put this like black cardboard thing on it so the reflection's not there and then I have my FPV camera up on top or my my screen so it's gonna be quite the setup and we'll see if it actually works I think I'm ready let's get out to the field man guys what a spectacular morning to get out and fly it's uh, kind of foggy um, the fog is lifting but it will be kind of cool to See if I can fly above the fog. You can kind of see it coming off the fields there. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Busted out the old 74 Courier. Got everything loaded up. Great way to travel with your drones. <laughs> Not really, but uh, gotta find a case for this one still. But in here, I do have my Hercules. I found this old case at a kind of like a used, kind of like a thrift store. Works out really well. And just getting things set up, I can't believe the amount of people who have like stopped and were like, whoa, what a cool hobby. Look at those drones. Yeah, well, they're all built from home, custom built. I got a water balloon attached underneath of my Terrett 650. If you wanna know how to do that and set up a grabber, I have a video on that. But uh, here's my setup. We're gonna get two, two drones of flight today and try to get some cool footage as long as, and as well, show you guys the Yapu telemetry script. And that's kind of what this video is focusing on. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I think of it and gonna go through all the modes. What you won't be seeing is me flipping the, toggling the switches. So left side over here is gonna zoom in and out on the maps. This side's gonna flip between the three different screens. I'm gonna focus my video down on the screen, but that's what I will be doing up here. And that's how I'm switching between the different, you know, settings and zooms and stuff. Stabilize flight mode. GPS 3D fix lock. Okay, well, here we go, I guess. Got everything recording. We've got uh, GPS has been locked. Just gotta hit my safety switch. Maps have been loaded. Looks like my home position is close. Yeah, it looks like it's right on. Okay, and you guys can kind of see my setup. All right, I'm viewing everything through my phone. So I hope you guys appreciate this. 
let's hit the safety switch and we should be live i guess we gotta hold it down okay cameras are all rolling let's arm it motors armed let's take off Landing gear up. And bombs away. I start flying through this. Uh... All this fog looks really cool. Now you can see on my maps, exactly what's going on there. Fly back over to me. Now I've been super happy with these maps and the next drone I have that I'll be flying, I don't even have any FPV on it. So these, the, the only way I have orientation is just with my, with my map. Now you will hear the beeping of my LiDAR health. That's something that I haven't quite figured out yet. I've been testing LiDAR and it doesn't quite work how I'd like Battery it to. Battery at 90%. You can hear those different tones coming out of the, the Lua script, the Yapu script. Man, I'm flying really close to the ground right now. You can see all the indications. I'm gonna stop here for a second. Me a little bit more altitude. Get that GoPro set. Okay, so what I want to show you right now is if I go over here, I can see you got my batteries, or my battery, the percentage I'm at, my altitude, the distance from home, which is really nice, um, all those kinds of things. My uh, If I start to uh, roll, you can see everything is pretty much instantaneous as far as like the uh, the telemetry that's coming in. So let's uh, let's go back to my maps and let's go out there a little ways. Oh, wrong switch. There we go. Let's get some altitude. Let's get going the other way. Okay, now on my left hand screen here with my maps, I can also see my altitude. Let's go, let's just buzz me a little bit and we'll head straight over into the fields behind me. GPS glitch. Well, EKF that's not good. Land flight mode. EKF variance. Well, Stabilize flight mode. Well, you guys can also obviously tell GPS I... GPS glitch cleared. Ran into a little situation right there. Altitude hold flight mode. Whoa. Okay, I don't know if any of you else have ran the Pixhawk 4, but I have had that happen to me. I've been losing GPS. I've been like, I've had tons of issues. Let's flip back to loiter mode. Loiter flight mode. Okay, and this is a great example of being able to look at what happened in the moment. So, I had a GPS glitch, um, EKF variance. Holy cow, I had a lot of things go wrong. So it looks like I lost my GPS. Could be because of the, you know, where I'm flying and stuff. I don't know. But this has happened to me twice while I fly, and it's a real big problem. Land flight mode. Land GPS flight mode. Glitch. No, GPS EPM glitch. Variance. Stabilize flight mode. Right. Altitude hold flight mode. 
Dude, something is, I think it's because I'm flying in the clouds. Every time that happens to me, I obviously just flip into uh, just stabilize mode real quick and get out of loiter flight mode. Then the, uh, the GPS isn't needed to fly and it, it stables me out. But man, that is a huge problem. I've never had a GPS glitch like that. Anyone's had those kinds of uh, issues before with the Pixhawk? Please let me know. Loiter flight mode. But uh, for this video's sake, it, <laughs> it actually really is... Uh, Battery at 70%. Quite convenient to be able to show you guys, hey look, you uh, had a problem and you can see everything, all the messages coming in. And you don't have to look at a laptop, it's just right in front of you. Let's flip back to the, uh, my maps here. Let's, uh, let's fly out a little bit more. Hopefully I don't get any more GPS fails. Making me kind of nervous to fly around when my GPS doesn't work. I'm gonna have to contact Holly Bro or whatever it is I bought this from. Bring it in close. Say hello to the camera. Alright, so I've kind of just been flying in circles here for a little bit, and honestly, like, I'm just a little nervous right now, <laughs> because my GPS sucks, I don't know what the heck is going on with that, but I'm going to get my other drone out here, I'm going to take this and land it, and let's get out there a little ways and actually see what this Battery GPS can do. <laughs> Not this GPS, my other GPS and the mapping feature and everything. So we're done with this. Let's bring it in. I'm going to bring the landing gear. So uh, just so you guys can see. Obviously when you're in any mode, you can see the messages at the bottom, which is really nice. So if I want to, I can just flip it to here because I'm watching it and then I'm going to toggle my landing gear so there it goes we're deploying my landing gear you can see it going down Disarm. All right, guys, that flight went not that great. <laughs> I much would have rather been able to fly it longer and just have a better flight and not have that GPS glitch. But again, this just shows the power of this script, the ability to have those me messages sent to you. And my LiDAR health wasn't working. I mean, my LiDAR wasn't working, and so I had those LiDAR health messages that kept beeping at me. And that was kind of annoying because... Yes, the LiDAR health was bad, and that's just coming straight from the Pixhawk, but it, you know, it was something that I knew about, and it just kind of like kept coming in. And so every time it beeped, I'd kind of like look down and be worried, like, oh, what's going on? But uh, anyway, let's get this other quad up in the air and, and see what we can do. All right, the first thing I'm gonna need to do here is swap Swap over to my next model here. I'm King Hercules. Switch warning. Oh, get all my switches back up in the right positions. Yapu telemetry ready. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go plug it in. Loiter flight mode. Let's go here. Again, the thing with this uh specific copter is I have no FPV on here. Oh, I'm in loiter. Stabilize, Stabilize what I want to start. Let's pop it in the loiter. Loiter flight mode. 
So I apologize, I'm the only one here filming and doing everything, and so you might not get the best footage. And I've got cars driving behind me. Okay, let's take this out for a little spin, shall we? So you can kind of see the black dot out there. I'm going to try my best to keep a camera on it as I'm trying to fly at the same time. Man, that thing really boogies. I went out there pretty quick, pretty fast. So let's get that stable. I think it's probably completely disappeared in the picture. So you're just looking at uh, what I'm looking at here on the radio. I can barely see it. So let's zoom out. Let's go out further. I really want to get out there a ways. And I guess a ways is relative. I know some of you watching this are probably doing, you know, real long range flights, but I'm probably a half mile. I guess it tells me, right? I'm uh, distance 256 meters from home. I can't hear it anymore, nor can I hardly see it. Let's, uh, let's zoom out of my maps here. Oh, that's all the way zoomed out. That's zoomed in. Okay. I wonder if I can make it all the way to the edge of the field over here. Well, I can, but hopefully battery my... Battery level one alert. Hopefully my radio will work. I think my battery levels uh, for this specific quad don't work. I haven't configured the battery to be set quite right. So... I'm going to ignore those battery levels. Battery at 90%. Oh, interesting. Battery level one alert. I think I haven't set up battery the... Battery level one alert. Uh, that's what it is. I haven't set up the battery alert. I think I had it defaulted to my other quad, which was running a 6S. And anyway, so the, the alert is going to be wrong. That's good to know. Battery at 70%. Landing complete. Motors disarmed. Right on the home. Alright, well hopefully you guys enjoyed Jumper T16, Yapu telemetry script. Um, you know, it's it really is a game changer for me when I don't have to haul my laptop out here when I can just see the map right there on my radio now if you haven't set this up or you don't know how please go and look in the link in the description I have videos on how to set this all up there is documentation everywhere this is a github project it's an open source project that uh, that somebody set up and created and I'm you know super happy with it really excited about it so if you guys like more videos and me using crazy things to, to film for you. Go ahead, subscribe. Please like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.